the sauce. We went on crazy last night. So here we go. Ooh. So some of the terms I'll be using: uh, Creative Commons. Uh, it's uh, a license for um, for uh, protecting your work uh, that you release um, to the public. Um, open source itself is a philosophy that promotes free distribution and access um, of products, uh, and generally the code as well. Um, the code is the source, so uh, open code, and Linux is an operating system like Windows, but um, it's uh, free. Um, so the manuscript culture back in the day, uh, it was uh, normal for people, for, for monks to copy books. They would um, get a book and they'd uh, copy out one of these onto another book and that's how books spread. Um, and yeah, that was the norm. And then this, um, this guy here went to Rome uh, and he picked up this uh, fancy Bible that um, it was a fourth century Bible and he took it with him home to Ireland where his mate uh, St. Columbia um, visited him. And uh, St. Columbia um, uh, was a student of old mate. Uh, and he copied his book without permission. And this is the first um, first copyright, uh, first instance of, of copyright being, um, uh, yeah, that came about. Basically, the uh, it, it was found that um, he owned, d didn't own, sorry, the owner of the parent book also owned the child book, which is strange since it was a, the Bible, so you think that no one owned it by then. But um, that's that's how the ruling went. That was the first version of, um, of copyright. So, in the future, uh, early, early last century, uh, no really to bring up. Uh, basically, um, when programmers started producing software for mainframes in the, in the 50s and 60s, they would share it freely, like really similar to the, um, to the manuscript culture, uh, and it, it um, ended up uh, yeah, producing lots of software, um, really good repositories, and they can share it all. Uh, Basically, what happened is they started bundling hardware with software, and that meant that uh, it wasn't um, uh, it wasn't necessarily feasible for, for big companies to start giving away their software for free. So they started um, started charging for the software. Um, now you still had the culture of um, of sharing software, uh, and in 1976, Bill Gates, that's Bill Gates, 1976. <laughs> Uh, he um, he wrote an open letter to, to hobbyists saying uh, saying basically you're you're stealing by sharing um, and it, it, it's obviously way to that um, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. still have the culture of sharing and I think we still have the culture today of sharing. Um, fast forward to the the nineties, um, Linus came along. Uh, he was using a, an operating system um, and he decided to create his own version of it and give it away for free. And this is the, this is the was a, a post somewhere that he put up, but he said, uh, I've made this, this software, look, um, this, this operating system, and I'm going to give it away for free. And uh, this is kind of important. So it's Linux, and that's what it was. It was a, an operating system. It was a whole, the whole thing like Mac OS X or Windows, but he was giving it away for free. Um, then in Germany, uh, Ian came on, and he made um, his own version of it. Uh, using the, the source from the original. Um, and you can calculate how much a program costs by how many lines of code are in it. Uh, basically, um, if you calculate that like that, if you wanted to produce uh, Debian today, it would cost around $19 billion. Uh, and this is all free software. This is programmers in their, their own time just um, adding, adding lines of code to this um, project and giving it away for free. Um, then a little later, recently, 2004, this guy's guy's been really rich. He's actually the second tourist to go into space. So um, he's from South Africa. He produced a, a desktop um, uh, using Debian. He produced like a, a really clean desktop um, uh, desktop operating system. So it, it looks flashy. You can put it on any computer, and it's free. Um, and he, he made different different types of it, um, uh, different versions of it for servers and different versions of the education um, places. Then. Here we go. Uh, 
so everyone knows this fellow. He uh, runs uh, Wikipedia, um, and he actually runs Wikipedia on Ubuntu servers. So uh, everyone who uses Wikipedia is using Linux, is using Debian, is using um, Ubuntu. Um, and yeah, the, the same philosophy behind Wikipedia is, is the, the open source. It's people contributing their time that they have, they know something, um, some have knowledge or something. They give it to a way for free, and then everyone else um, gains from it. Um, this is my shameless self promotion. Uh, so I've, I've set up a, a, a website using um, using the Media Wiki, uh, which is the software that, that Wiki uh, Wikipedia runs on. Um, which has been given away for free. It runs on a Ubuntu server, which has been given away for free. Uh, even the logo has come from uh, someone who is really good at logos and gives them away for free. Uh, and the, the purpose of the website is to share music, so I'm hoping that um, in the future, the, uh, yeah, uh, the, the end of this will be um, music that people give away for free. Uh, but this is just one of the many branches this story, starting with uh, Linus, there are um, many different types of Linux, um, and it's not just a one-way story. Uh, stuff from um, uh, stuff from Debian goes um, upwards to Linux and uh, vice versa. There's, there's uh, source code going up and down, um, up and down the strings. Does that make sense, everyone? Uh, so now you might think Linus is a bit silly, but given away, um, it's really awesome software. But uh, one of the commercial um, Linux uh, distributions, Red Hat, uh, gave you stock options in, um, yeah, in 1999 when they went public, uh, and they were uh, roughly $20 million worth of um, stock options in 1999. Uh, so he's, he's actually quite rich. And uh, interestingly, Red Hat was the first Linux company to get a billion dollars worth of revenue uh, just this year. So he's, um, he's doing really well. Uh, yeah, apparently, he's worth about 100 and this is all from giving away something for free. Um, so who, who uses Linux? Um, uh, Iceland have just decided to uh, put all their um, uh, government uh, software over to Linux. Um, so open to get yeah, open source. Obviously uh, Wikipedia, uh, CERN, um, even uh, US nuclear submarines use Linux as part of their, um, part of their uh, or similar systems. NASA and Linux is the uh, the base for Android phones. What's CERN? CERN is the uh, the big uh, thing that's going to create the black holes in Europe and kill us all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one. I didn't understand what you just said. But what about the black holes? In so, so, yeah, uh, obviously not aware of that. <laughs> Large Hadron Collider. They're no. splitting the atom, aren't they? Yeah, so, so they're firing atoms into each other really fast and uh, trying to produce um, the like it was. Uh, the They're trying to re yeah, recreate. Okay, thank you for that. Sorry for interrupting. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, if you want to get involved in uh, open source and, and sharing your information, it's, it's one of the information you want your works. It's really easy. Um, YouTube, if you upload a video, you can just hit the um, Creative Commons attribute license, and that'll allow other people to reuse it and remix it. Um, uh, yeah, it's the same thing with the photos to Flickr, or um, they, they will normally give you an option to do um, to, to uh, license under Creative Commons license, so that you can share it. The um, uh, interestingly, the Creative Commons license doesn't give away your right to sell it later on. You can you can specify that uh, it can't be used for commercial gain, so that uh, you know that Microsoft isn't going to use it. But um, old mate who's doing a presentation on a school presentation on something, you can take your photo and, and do it legally and with no issues. Um, and you can obviously search using those. Um, so some, some really interesting open source projects as well. Um, the uh, open uh, talks uh, is using community modeling to um, try to uh, stop animal testing so that they can um, check, check the chemicals with, um, uh, yes, see how chemicals will react with other chemicals, so that, um, uh, yeah, you don't need animal testing, which would be really nice. Um, the same, similar thing for um, Amy, the, uh, trying to uh, measure and analyze carbon dioxide data, so um, uh, for, for 
the, the global warming and we'll, we'll climate change and see um, see what that affects us having. There's even an open source beer, so you can get the recipe for that and make your own, um, your own beer and yeah, other things like the um, software for moon observations. Yeah, so I uh, just wanted to open up questions and discussions about open source and uh, any ideas people had or um, anything that they're interested in. It's an open source uh, moonshot program. Yeah. So that one can be no. a kind of collectively send a rocket to the moon, basically. Oh, they're not very uh. far along, but I think it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, what's that called? The only question people must have, though, is if it's, if you keep saying it's free, but you haven't really explained how it's worth billion, uh, millions of dollars. How do, how do I make, make millions of dollars if it's free? Yeah, yeah. So, basically... <laughs> the model that, that Mark Shuttleworth is using, and that's the reason why he um, decided to uh, promote... Ubuntu and, and Linux is he sells support, so he runs a, he runs a, a company that um, sells support for the software. So he's not he's not selling the software um, itself, and anyone else can anyone can download it and use it. But then, if it doesn't work, we have to call him. Uh, yes, if you want if you want specific support um, from like let's say you're a big company and you want um, someone to support the software, then yes, you can uh, for that. You, you, you can pay for that through them, or you, or you they, but they don't monopolize it; they don't oh, yeah. um, own it. And uh, this, because of the, the philosophy of, of open source, you get a really big community um, with uh, forums. So if you're having issues, it's um, normally quite easy to uh, find solutions. How did like I work in IT, but I don't use any open source stuff because I feel like it's uh, it's going to take up more of my time to have to figure things out myself or. Like run things myself. Do you? What do you? Do you agree with that? I have that stereotype that? too. Yeah. 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 Like, even though I don't work in IT, and I just think I have this preconception stereotype that if I use any open source material, that I'm destined to have to pretty much learn how to code it myself in order to get past hurdles if I have any, as opposed to like clicking an OK button and going cool, yeah. it's fixed. Kind so, of thing. so nowadays we've got the big companies behind it. And yeah, that's a very good point. Um, a lot of uh, open source is clunky, um, and it's, it's, it's because it's made from all these different sources. Sometimes you don't get um, like a structured design. But because we have uh, big companies coming on board, um, it's getting a lot cleaner. Things like, like Android phones are running uh, open source, um, and it's got Google behind it. So you've got the um, you've got um, really uh, yeah good good programmers working on it, mm -hmm. and then giving it away for free still. Um, uh, things like um, like Firefox, we see that that's, that's an open source example, and um, that's still fairly good. Um, mm. yeah. And then uh, Chromium, it's a Chrome uh, uh, web browser. And so, so yeah, there are, there are clunky versions of open source, but um, I think there are a lot of options now coming out, and it's definitely getting better with the big, big players coming on board. That's funny. I would not have assumed that... Chrome is open source, but it's probably it my is, favorite yeah. mm. piece of yeah. software on my, mm. on my Mac. Yeah, well, so. te technically, Chrome isn't open source. Chromium is, which is a version of... Uh, of Chrome. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, that's the latest version of that. Yeah. It's, that's it's, the it's, interesting thing to explain about Ubuntu people as well. Because like, like, Ubuntu is, is Linux, right? But you probably have images in your head of how it used to be with Linux. You had to literally... Did you ever install Linux? Because mm. I, I tried. I, I'm a software developer, by the way. I've mm. been software for a long time. And I, it's just too much around for me. I was, I'm the same as everyone else. I just want to put something in, click OK, and go. Mm. Well, Ubuntu does that. It's very much like using... Actually, it's probably a lot more like using a Mac than you say than Windows. Even. Yeah. It's very user-friendly. And when something goes wrong, because it's open source, it usually comes up and goes, oh, something's gone wrong. Do you want to send this report back? And it will send it back to the developer straight up. It's not going to go through a big like, company process of new releases and stuff like that. It just goes straight back to the developer, and they're like, oh, there's a problem. I'll fix it. A new, a new update goes through all very quickly. I, I don't know if people were aware of the recent um, issues with the Mac OS X. The 1% of the Mac computers, 600,000 computers, had a um, uh, malware on them because uh, of um, uh, uh, an issue with, uh, it was a, a Java um, 
Java vulnerability that wasn't uh, wasn't fixed up by Mac straight away, but by Apple straight away because it wasn't in their release cycle. Um, so the six weeks uh, after Linux and Windows had updated the, um, the, uh, the patch the issue, um, they, Apple still hadn't patched it. Uh, you, you definitely have, um, uh, because it's open source, um, the, the community definitely comes on to, uh, picks up things like that a lot quicker. So, um, yes, security-wise, uh, it's, it's yeah, generally safer. What's, what's your motivation for your music sharing? Uh, for my, myself, there wasn't anything out there that did that well, um, and so I started playing the ukulele, and I thought it would be cool to, um, to be able to jam with someone somewhere else. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty cute. Um, yeah, and I was like, uh, I suppose, uh, it, when I was at uni, I think on, on, uh, on youth allowance, I looked up one of those charts, and I was in the top 10% in the world. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that, now that I've got a full-time job and stuff, it's, it's like, it really doesn't cost me that much at all to produce something and give it away for, for free. And now, uh, by the end of 2020, end of this decade, there should be 3 billion um, internet users. So that's going to be some pretty, pretty awesome music by then, yeah. at least. And, and that's, that's like, yeah, software and everything. You know, that can get close to it. An explosion, um, and I, I suppose I just want to start making the tools for people to start sharing. Mm. Was it Google Maps originally built by volunteers, like just adding streets in the area and stuff like that? Mm. There's a yeah, and it's another project as well, like the street maps. It's, it's yeah, similar. I've got into that. Yeah, um, Apple, uh, my, uh, Google started charging for their maps, and people are moving over. Uh, I think even um, the, some of the iPhone maps. Actually, Google's only charging for. Um, all the clients like us, but if you're doing it just uh, if you if you're making a project that people can use for free, then, then you don't pay. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's good to have, yeah. and it's still very cheap though. Even though like even though it's a place like that, I started to charge like we are a pretty big company, public Osprey, and they don't I don't know what they charge us, but it's, it's quite a small amount. Like for say 1,500 users internally, and I think it's like 8,000 a year or something like that. It's a pretty useful tool, so it's yeah, way better than being. Yeah, and, and it's, it's um, I think they're just trying to, uh, yeah, that's, I suppose Apple's trying to move away from having any um, reliance on Google, I suppose. Um, but yeah, they, they can use it for free, which is, yeah. So how do you, how do you harness the, the power of open source? Like, is, is it just people creating the tools that they want and by pure self-interest by having these great outcomes, or is there... Like a way to kind of shift the herd for public good. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that everything I've wanted to do on it 